Hey everyone, this is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another makeup look and I'm really excited because I'm going to showcase my Morphe Living Color Palette. I have no idea what I'm going to do, so let's just get crazy and do something colorful. I'm not going to use any transition colors. I'm just going to use the colors in the palette on my eyes and we'll go from there. So I'm going to start with my Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. My skin is feeling a bit dry, so I'm just going to moisturize. I will actually double prime today, so this will be the moisturizing primer, and we will use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless to fill in the pores, and with this one, I just use a tiny bit. I don't need a huge amount, and I focus on the areas where I have a lot of pores, so between my brows, mostly my nose, around my nose, and my chin, and it's important to have a thin layer of this because um, it will pill if you pull too much or if you put too much product in your face. I've noticed that it will pill, so it's best to press it into your skin instead of pulling. All right, so I'm using my Damn Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm going to actually use a different foundation that I've been using, um, so one that I've had. So I'm going to use my Tarte Found Sealer because I'm looking for more of a glowy look, and I generally hate glowy looks, and this is probably too dark. This is the shade 35G Medium Golden, but I want to not only just use it up, um, I've got quite a few foundations that I need to start using because they are old or getting old they're getting close to their expiry so I need to use them up and I can lighten this with powder and concealer so I'm not too worried and you can just see how that gives me such a beautiful radiant glow and I do keep pouncing the sponge over top of my skin even when it looks already blended out just to make sure that I haven't missed any harsh lines. I will be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral, and I won't be going crazy on the contour today, but I will be doing a little bit of a contour. Looking good. So I'm gonna go in and contour my main area, so definitely under my eye where it's the darkest. I bring it down, and keep in mind, this isn't to cover anything up. I do have under eye circles, so right here, it's to cover the under eye circles, but when you put a lot of concealer on, it's actually to brighten certain areas of your face, that you want to stand out so it's not to cover up necessarily it's to make the shade look different and then you darken the areas with your cream contour or your powder and you could even use a darker concealer if you wanted if you have one so I always lighten the middle of my face and you will notice when it gets to summer I don't do this in summer I always bronze the middle of my face wherever the sun would hit me naturally. That's just how I like to do it. And I always bring some of the product up on my eyelid because honestly, I'm not a huge fan of actual eye primers. I just prefer the concealer. I think it works fine. And then you don't have to buy extra products just to do a different task. You can multitask with one product and you can see that really brightens your face if you've used a darker foundation. Then make sure I tap out all the creases and then I will go in with my Cody Airspun powder. This is Loose Face Powder in Translucent. I love this stuff. I've grown accustomed to the interesting scent if you ever have a chance to like smell it. So first I'll do under the eyes and you will notice I'm just using the sponge and then I go in with the brush after. Okay, then I always like taking a smaller brush because sometimes that brush doesn't want to get into the small areas around your eye and around your nose. So I take a bit of a smaller brush and just wipe away the powder. Make sure that it's settled in all of the lines to set your concealer completely. Not that you want to have any creasing, but it just needs to get into all the little areas. I'm going to quickly go off camera, do brows, then we'll come right back to color back. Brows are done. So if I don't mention any product, I will leave it listed down below just in case you're curious to what I've used. Next, we're going to go in with this Tarte Park Ave Princess. This is, hands down, one of my favorite palettes for contouring. I love all the shades. It smells like chocolate and vanilla, I guess. It's just amazing. So I'm going to go in with the shade Angle. It's more of a warm-toned color, and it's not glittery, which I like for a contour. So I start with the cheek. I apply the color, and then I go in and blend it out. I always add darkness to my temples, the perimeter of my forehead, underneath my lip, and always under the jaw. And I also add to the nose, but I like to use a smaller brush. So I will go in with this teeny tiny firm blender E44, and then I blend out the product. Next, I'm going to take this Benefit Cheek Readers Mini Bronze Squad Palette. This has a blush, a contour, and a highlight. So I will be using this blush. This is Gold Rush. 
and the cookie highlighter. So with the blush, I always use my F10 blush brush by Sigma. I give a little smile and I dust it on the apples of my cheeks. And that's the only place I put blush. And we will go in and highlight right now as well. So I will use this little brush here. This is a soft limb concealer, F64. Tap it into the highlight and just put it right above the blush application. Some down the middle of the nose, a little bit right between the brows. And now it's time for a nice setting spray. So I like to do this after my makeup on my face has been applied, but before mascara. And today I'm actually going to use my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. I always shake it before I use it. And then before we do anything else, we just wait for this to dry. So now that the base is done, we can go ahead with the shadow. So today I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do. And I don't think I want it too crazy, but I definitely want to experiment with all the colors in this palette. So I'll probably have to do a couple of different looks. There are just so many different colors to pick from. So I think I'm going to stick to the red-pink colors today just to match my earrings and my shirt. And I think we're going to start with either this color or this color in the crease. And I'm going to use this really large fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E27. And I'm going to go in with Tart, which is more of a pink tone here. I'm going to start by putting this in the crease. And I'm just dipping it in a little bit at first just to see how it applies, to see how pigmented it is. And this is a matte shade. And this actually is a really nice uh, color to start with as a transition because it is nice and light and it's blending really, really nicely. And I'm actually taking this quite high, so it's quite close to my brow bone here. And I am just dipping it back in the color and adding a bit more as I go. I'm gonna keep this brush aside just so I can blend again later if I have to. So next, I'm going to take a smaller brush now. So this one is the Morphe E17. It's just um, a like a tapered blending brush as well, but quite a bit smaller than the first one I used. And we're going to go into culture and it kind of looks like satin shade so we're going to see what it looks like when i put it on here and i'm going to keep it lower than heart but it's still going in the crease getting a little bit of fallout so i'm just going to take my powder brush and just wipe it away so i'm actually going to add a little bit of pride in between those two colors it's more of an orange shade because I want to give it a little bit more of a dramatic look. I think I'm going to do a cut crease now. I'm going to be really dramatic and add a completely different color to the outside because this is really pretty. It matches my earrings and shirt, but I want something dramatic. I want something with color and to kind of get the full use out of the palette itself. So I'm going to go back into my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to use the shade Light Sand, which is my all-time favorite shade. And I'm going to take this small teensy tiny brush by Bo Kakashi. This is an eyeshader brush, but I think it'll be good for a cut crease. So the trick is, as per Angela Bright, get really close to your mirror and then you look up and then wherever that head, like the concealer hits is where you kind of continue but mine never hit further than where I apply it so I'm just going to leave it there. And I might just bring it out a little bit further because I have an idea in mind so I'm just going to bring it all the way on my lid, but I'm not going to be too precise about the outer corner. That cut crease looks terrible, but we can work with it. So next, I'm going to use the same little brush with the cat concealer on it. I'm going to go into the palette, and at first, I'm going to use the shade Liberation, which is this bright white shade here. It's actually not white. It's just like a sparkly color. I'm going to put it on the inner part of the eye here and I'm just going to pack it on and it has really big chunks of glitter in it. So I'm going to make sure that this is really opaque and then we're going to take a different brush. I'm going to take this larger pencil brush. This is the Morphe M321 and I'm going to go into the shade Make Magic which is this teal color and it's a sparkly teal color and I'm going to add it right next to that sparkly white shade on the lid. I am just packing it on and kind of pressing it into that whiter shade too just to blend it a little bit, but I don't only want it blended too much. I'm using the same brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Peace, which is right next to Make Magic. And I'm gonna put this right next to that green teal color. And it might actually help if I wet the brush a little bit because I'm experiencing a lot of fallout here. I'm gonna use the same spray I used for my face, my Too Faced RX Hangover. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that first shade and blend that into the blue. Okay, and then I'm gonna continue with the blue. And I'm going to go in with Rise Up, which is this bright, vibrant blue here. It's also a shimmer, but I'm going to use a different brush this time. So this is another kind of little blending brush. This is the Morphe E18. Spray the brush again. And this one I'm going to bring kind of to a little point at the outer corner of my eye. And then what I like to do is go back in with previous brushes and just kind of make sure 
Not that it's super blended because I really want that color change just so it looks a little bit more put together. It doesn't really have a name. This is from Costco. It's just like a really tiny thin liner brush. I'm going to wet it, dip it into that dark blue rise up shade, and just make sure that my edges lace on the outside corner. And then we'll use the same brush to bring that blue down on the outside on the bottom lash line. Take one more color. I'm going to use this kind of I don't even know where I got this from. It might have been Amazon, but it's an angled, it looks like an angled brow brush. I'm going to wet it. I'm going to go in with the shade 1978, which is this kind of sparkly purple mauve lilac shade. And this looks like a duochrome color, but I'm going to pop this on the entire lower lash line here. A little concealer brush. And I'm going to go back into the shade Culture, just a tiny little bit on the edge of the brush, and blend it right underneath that purple shade. So I won't be adding any color to the actual water rim. Um, I could technically play with teal, but I really wanted to focus on the upper lash line, and if I do anything with the lower lash line, it's going to take away from that vibe. So I'm just going to put some black liner, liquid liner, on the top lash line. There we go. Had to make that even. And I think that's it. So um, unfortunately, my Too Faced Better Than Specs is running out. I do have my eye on the Fenty Fly Liner. So for now, we'll just do a thin line, and this will also help to adhere the lashes. So that is it for the eyes. I'm going to go off camera, do mascara and lashes. I will use my usual, my uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara in Black is Black. And also the lashes will be the Style Fuego, I believe. I like that style because it really gives the flare at the outer corner. And because of this blue little flare, I think it will be perfect. All right, lashes, mascara are done. So next, I'm going to go into my Tardiest Pro Glow Palette. And I'm going to use the shape shade strobe to give my inner corner and brow bone highlight so i'm going to use a clean e30 pencil brush i start by doing the inner corners here this brush is a little bit wet so it might actually help to enhance the brightening effect and last but not least is lips so i've picked out this milani beauty liner for lips it's a retractable pencil in most natural I'm going to line my lips just to give them some shape, and then I'm going to fill them in with a gloss. This is Peppermint Bark by Too Faced, their Christmas 2019 collection, just to give my lips some sparkle and shine. I don't want to have a lipstick right now because I want the eyes to really pop, so we're just going to keep the lips very neutral and sparkly. I overline just a little bit, and I'm going to fill it in with the gloss. And there you have it. That's the completed look. Now, I think that if I left the lashes off, it would probably showcase the dark blue on the outer corner a little bit more and if that's what you want go ahead i like wearing lashes with my looks you can still see the white and then the transition color there with the pink on top which i really like it matches my earrings and that's kind of what i was going for but i wanted it to be colorful and kind of to take advantage of the lip and color palette so i hope you guys enjoyed this look if you did please give it a thumbs up Please subscribe if you're new here and also hit that bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. We will talk to you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.